Hard force. Dude, I remember they, it was just those were good times, man. This was when Fall Looter started blowing up, and this is when uh, issues came out. I remember this thing. I was we were me and Monkey came over, and we we're so tired, and I'm, I had this idea. I'm like, let's get our shirts off and get in bed together. <laughs> we're just fucking around, and this shot has become so. I love this shot. We're in the bed smoking together. I think it's amazing. And that was just, that was like our coming of our, we're a heavy band, it's very serious, but that's us just making fun of ourselves, it's taking a shot at ourselves, I think it's amazing. And these were good times, man. I was fucked up out of my mind. Um, like I should be, I'm in my 20s, I call the 20s your terrible twos, but um, all over again. But, you know, after this record, I got sober after Follow the Leader. And this record, Issues, was the first record I was sober. So. Good times. And in, in terms of success, stories, everything, do you feel nostalgic about that or do you only concentrate about the present and obviously the future? I mean, I like to be nostalgic and look back and appreciate those times, but I'm always right, like, what are we doing next? I don't want to live there. I like being now. I try to keep myself in the now at all times. Um, those were good times, young and dumb, and uh, great, great times, but um, I'm a lot happier. With age comes a lot of wisdom and, and things get a little bit easier, you figure it out, you know what I mean? Are you most proud of that longevity, more than 25 years of career, or, yeah. or of all the high peaks of this career? I love just the longevity, I've got, it's been an amazing ride and I don't want it to stop. Um, like I said, I'm middle aged and I'm still going and I think it's amazing, it's, a, it's, it's definitely a gift. It is said that after years together, many famous bands do not hang together anymore and communi communicate with each other through managers and lawyers. Uh, we know that Korn's members are very, very tight yeah. family, very tight unit. How would you define that relationship after all those years and chaos and everything? I just think we're just one of those bands that have been lucky that we still get along, love each other and, and just figure that we've had our ups and downs, but with any family you get you fight you know it's just how being family is but you forgive and you forget and you just move on so it's just we're lucky that we have that kind of relationship i love each one of those guys i do anything for them they're my brothers and that's something really special about this band